Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. So recently, we we um, discussed how Judges seven nineteen is coming to pass right now. I uploaded that video very recently. I think yesterday. So, but I saw something else in scripture I want to share with people. Of course, as Jesus says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. So the scriptures are multidimensional, multifaceted, multifaceted, and uh, surpass time and space so since we now know that there are three comings of Christ um, I could probably spend an hour just going on the multiple faucets of the Hosea 6 1 to 3 uh, prophecies of Christ coming or maybe it's 1 through 2 you know the opening verses in Hosea 6 the, the prophecies of Christ it's just endless and endless how how we could explain how that's fulfilled and um, so I want to focus your attention on this verse in the beginning of the middle watch. Okay, so we are living in this time now. We are in the beginning of Christ's second coming, right? So, but I think it also means something else. Um, I think it could also represent, which is true, uh, we are in the beginning of our redemptive state, right? Because... Uh, the people of Gideon's army are supposed to be following Gideon. We're supposed to be ascending to a redemptive state. So we would indeed be in the beginning of a middle watch because um, our bad nature is on the left side. The robber who is on the left side, our good nature represents the robber on the right side. And Jesus brings that together in the redemption. So we are in the beginning of the middle watch. I mean, we're ascending um, to the Gnosis um, to redemption and of course it's by God's grace that we are officially redeemed but we can ascend um, seeing the inferior inferiority of our own sin nature and all that kind of stuff so um, I just really just wanted to share that that's what in the beginning of the middle watch could also mean which we are living in right now so okay thank you for tuning in Allah bless you